Japanese seafood has not yet been banned from Singapore markets following the release of treated radioactive water from the wrecked Fukushima nuclear power plant into the Pacific Ocean on Thursday, August 24. The Singapore Food Agency SFA maintains food from Japan is safe to have in view of satisfactory surveillance results, including for radiation. The SFA has not detected any radioactive contaminant in food imports from Japan to Singapore since 2013. As per protocol, food products that fail SFA's inspections and tests cannot be sold in the country. In response to the Straits Times questions on whether Singapore will be following China and South Korea in banning seafood imports from Japan, the SFA referred to the response made by Minister for Sustainability and the Environment Grace Fu. She stated that since 2019, the National Environment Agency NEA has been closely monitoring Singapore's waters as part of its Environmental Baseline Radiation Monitoring Program. It found out that the radioactivity measured continues to remain within our natural background levels. Sakurai Foods, the company that imports and retails fish and other food from Japan, also reported that it had not received any complaints, negative feedback and concerns about Japanese seafood from customers. Even though it does not import any seafood from Fukushima directly, it closely monitors updates for food import restrictions by the SFA and Japanese government agencies. However, many consumers are now avoiding seafood from Japan. I do find it alarming, but I don't think I am overreacting. Besides, there are many other options for seafood in Singapore, Ms. Olivia Chung stated. Singapore lifted pre-export tests and certificate of origin requirements on approved food imports from Fukushima from May 28, 2021. This was 10 years after Japan's twin natural disasters of a 9.0 magnitude earthquake and tsunami that caused the Fukushima nuclear accident in March 2011. Food imports from Japan have consistently made up less than one. 5% of total food imports in the past decade, with food imports from Fukushima measuring an insignificant less than 0.01% of total food imports in 2022, according to the SFA.